So some low-fat mayonnaise contains lemon peels. Some of the low-fat mayonnaise that's um, on the market at the moment um, has cellulose content, and that cellulose comes from uh, lemon peel, lime peel, orange peel. What we're actually looking at there is um, the microstructure of mayonnaise. Um, so the green dots were the fat and the red on the outside is the protein in traditional mayonnaise production that would be egg protein which strengthens the interface and you've got little fat globules which are about 10 microns in diameter. 80% of the volume of the whole product is fat. In terms of taste, I think we're probably influenced by the, um, the, the protein that's there, um, also by the vinegar um, that's added. So if the taste is coming from the protein and the vinegar, what's the point of all that fat? The fat is essentially um, filling the volume. These droplets are very, very close together. So you've got a structure that is reliant upon that high dispersed phase volume of fat. To replace fat in mayonnaise, essentially what you want to do is replace it with something like water. But if you do that, you lose the structure completely. One of the advantages of mayonnaise structure is its spoonability, its gloopy appearance, versus a salad cream. And a salad cream is much less gloopy, it's much less structured. So these little droplets can be replaced with something else that might have a droplet-like structure. One of the things that we've been working with um, is um, cellulosic structures. So this is water. This is a small amount of cellulose in that water. You can see we've still got some viscosity in there. If we increase the concentration of that cellulose in water, we get something which is much more viscous. If we do that side by side, we can compare these two structures and you can see that these things flow very, very differently. So a small amount of cellulose in here is actually giving us quite a lot of viscosity. Normal mayonnaise has got all of this fat that's in there and that essentially is a lot of calories. We replace that fat with something like cellulose. Cellulose isn't broken down in the body and therefore doesn't provide any calories at all. The cellulose that is being used might be from citrus origin and citrus peel is in some of the mayonnaises currently available. But they don't taste all citrusy. They don't taste citrusy um, because they've been cleaned a little bit to take any citrus um, flavour notes away so all you're getting from that is then the structure and that structure is replacing the fat but still maintaining the texture that you would expect from a mayonnaise. One of the things that really interests us about using cellulose in these types of structural um, uh, possibilities is the fact that it is biorenewable. It's the most abundant polymer on planet Earth and we're really interested to know whether we can do more with it Traditionally, nutritional products have not been so appealing um, through taste and also texture. Um, so the big challenge is to create food products which are nutritionally good, which don't have taste problems and do have the correct texture. The work that we're doing with cellulose is to understand what we can unlock from that natural resource to create the textures that people like. Therefore, you've got nutritious food um, that people enjoy eating. Does it excite you, that stuff? It doesn't look very exciting. However, a real understanding of molecularly what's happening in here um, is driving um, a lot of this research.